When you fast, guess what happens to the bad guys in your gut? They have nothing to eat. And I told you, their half-life is really short. So they start dying off. So their population goes down. The good guys, their population stays good. In fact, it gets even better because the body wants to preserve those and produces chemicals to actually feed those bacteria. So there's a dramatic change in fasting in the bacterial flora. This has been shown over and over again. The fasting doesn't only benefit you in one way, that, okay, fine, I'm fasting, so I'm not taking any food inside. But no, your butyric acid levels go up, your ketones go up, your brain changes. It gets neuroplasticity and brain did have neurotropic factors. But some of the ketosis and the changes in the biochemistry actually changes your gut flora as well. So it's, a, it's, it's very interesting that it's all linked in. So fasting does improve your gut flora. One, in fact, if you look at hibernating animals, you know, when they are fasting in that, in that state, there's a huge change in the microbiome that occurs. The microbiome changes in people who get gastric bypass. And we think that, oh, gastric bypass, they're just eating less and eating smaller amounts. But no, we now know that most, most of the changes, the beneficial changes that are occurring after gastric bypass surgery is as a result of the microbiome changing changes completely, this drastic change. That's how you get reversal of diabetes and obesity and, and all the other conditions associated with morbid obesity. You eat every two, three hours and you're going to have a different type of microbiome than if you do time-restricted feeding. Because illogically, through evolution also, you were not supposed to be eating every few hours.